What's going on guys? Still here and today I have good noobs. Uh, noobs? Yeah? Noobs? Boobs? Category you are fake eight. news. Sir. I've got good news. Gaijin is self-aware. Let's get some clap emojis in the comments this video because Gaijin has reduced repair costs for non-premium event vehicles. As Stona has put in this uh, forum post. Non-premium event vehicles that are obtained during our special event or special in-game events differ from linear vehicles in the way you achieve it in unique status, but doesn't offer any economic advantage over them, which in some ways spoils the joy of gaining and owning these vehicles. Now, all special event premiums or not or sorry, non-premium vehicles receive reduced repair costs, but continue without additional income bonuses, which means it's basically the repair cost of a premium in some cases. Actually, not well. The G fifty five S is ten k. We'll we'll get into the the F elevens repair costs uh, in a minute. Um, but basically, if you put a talisman on them, they basically are premium vehicles. They don't have insanely high repair costs that will kind of take away from your gains, which is awesome. They've also changed um, weapon mount changes, so secondary weapons like on on multi rolls and stuff. They've kind of nerfed multi roll aircraft and the fact that you have to get more spawn points now to spawn in things. Uh, again, also, I just want to make note that these are planned economy changes, so these aren't final. Um, as long as we know that they might not be final, they might change some of these. And looking at the table, actually, whoops, let's go to it. Um, things, some some mounts, or some, some loadouts don't really make sense cost-wise. They're, they're a bit too much. Like the A4B, we'll go to that. Whoops. What are the A4, what? A4. Tard? Come on. A. 4. B. There we go. The Zunis, the 28 Zunis cost 1,500 spawn points. So, the plane is going to cost 1,500 spawn points in RB to spawn in with 28 Zunis. But 1,100 to spawn in with the Zunis and the 6 bombs. I'd argue the bombs and the Zuni combo are much better because you still get pretty much half your zoonies but you get some bombs and if you're precise enough you can actually kill mbts with them fairly easily and other stuff like like this the other zoonies the bigger bombs it's a little bit more expensive it is i don't know it's cool some of these loadouts don't make sense but it kind of nerfs multi-roll capability like let's go to the f4 phantom like some of these loadouts like aim nine e's or we'll do we'll do aim let's look for a like a proper aim 9j loadout so where did i see it aim 9j and 10 750 pound bombs is 1100 or 5 18 500 to 1600 although when you give and take so some of these loadouts seem to be more expensive like the a7 okay that makes sense but like this is just zoonies it's a aim nines yeah that's a bit much but then again the f4e has a ballistic computer so they've pretty much gone in and changed almost everything, if not every vehicle in game in in the air trees, with spawn point costs. Because it is a bit too stupid. Stupid during these events, people are cheesing by just rushing in a locust in a top tier match and then getting into a phantom and carpet bombing everybody before anybody on the enemy team can get into an AA. Or you know, it's 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 ridiculous. It's just I don't know. It's cool. Um. Hey, at least they've done something. Oh, here's the helicopters. I was wondering. So what is the KE-52 going to cost? What about the International 12? That seems fair. Let's go to the... Oh my god, KE-52. The highest loadout I see from it... Is probably that 1300 loadout I just moused over. Yeah, so like 1300 to spawn in with some... Iglas and some S13s, which is the heli rush loadout. So you might not even be able to heli rush anymore at the beginning of the match, like at all. Iglas, Vikers, and S13s, 1100. So yeah, they've probably just prevented heli rushing for the most part. That's awesome. Yeah, I had an F11 video out. <laughs> By the way, that I was going to release this morning, and I saw these planned economy changes. So what I say about repair costs in that video mean, like, nothing. I mean, they still do. So, actually, let's go back in the game. My F11 currently costs 31,000 uh, SL. Because, again, these are planned economy changes. 
stock when I stripped it of every modification, although you can't really strip weapon modifications. So it wasn't exactly accurate. It was roughly 27,000. If we go to their planned list, we type in F11 and go to the, whoops, repair. And let's go down. F11, F1 is now 18,540 SL stock maximum repair cost. I'm just going to say repair cost. It's actual max repair cost is when you're actually fully spaded. That makes sense. Gaijin words it as max repair cost. As you'll see, it says max repair cost. Well, it's not technically the max repair cost. Why would there be like a lesser repair cost when, you know, the amount of, the amount of modifications you have on justify how much it's worth. So, yay. <laughs> it's still kind of expensive. Um, what I say in the video about its repair cost, um, kind of, it still applies, but not as much, but I'm just still going to go ahead and release the video anyways, since it is done. Um, well, it actually, it's uploaded to YouTube, but I'm going to update, I'm going to upload this first. So uh, pretty much here, all of you will understand that that video is not going to be exactly accurate a hundred percent, but it's still extremely relevant. Because it is still a high repair cost, especially when it's going to be spaded. Which, in my opinion, the F11 should just be a higher battle rating. <laughs> and not still not this expensive. But anyways, I don't know. That's all I have to say for today, guys. I'm going to get working on this and get this uploaded. It is already 5 in the evening. And <laughs> I've been at work all day doing training. So I haven't been able to do this. And even though I knew about this fucking, what, 10 hours ago? <laughs> so anyways, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Sue Wolf, and uh, I'll see you next time.